Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motion Ray, and today you're going to learn how to zoom in Final Cut Pro. Whether you want to add movement to a shot, crop in a poorly framed clip, or create the awesome dolly zoom or vertigo effect, learning how to zoom in Final Cut Pro can help take your videos to the next level. We're going to go over two zoom methods, so let's start by creating a zoom with the Ken Burns effect, which in my opinion is the easier method of the two. To access the effect, select the clip you want to apply the effect to, then hit the transform icon menu dropdown. Hit the crop icon and your view window should change to show you three new menu options. You can also access cropping by hitting shift C. From here, we can trim, crop, or use the Ken Burns tool. It's important to note at this point that however you set your Ken Burns effect, it will apply to the whole clip rather than starting or ending wherever your playhead is. If you click on the Ken Burns tool, you'll notice the window will change again. Now that you've added the Ken Burns effect to your clip, you need to adjust the parameters to control the movement. You can do this by clicking on any of the four corners of the green box in the viewer window and dragging to increase or decrease the scale. Since we're going to do a zoom in over the duration of this clip, start with the green box wide. Once you're happy with the start positioning, click on the red box and adjust the scale by dragging the corners. You may also want to adjust the positioning, and you can do this by clicking anywhere inside the box and dragging. So let's take a look at the clip before any zoom adjustments. Now let's test out the same clip, but with the Ken Burns effect added. We can hit the preview button in the top left to test. As you can see, we have a very gradual zoom that ramps in at the beginning and ramps down at the end. Once you're happy with your effect, hit done in the top right. Now here's a quick tip. If you want to change from a zoom in to a zoom out, simply reopen the Ken Burns effect and hit the swap icon in the top left. This will swap your start and end position and scale. Now your zoom will start zoomed in and end zoomed out. Now that you've learned how to use the Ken Burns effect, what if you want more customization around your zoom? In Final Cut Pro, you can create your own zoom movements using keyframes. The awesome thing about using keyframes is that you have complete control over where your zoom starts and ends. To begin, move your playhead to the point on your clip where you want the zoom to start. Then go up to your video inspector and next to scale, hit the keyframe marker to add a keyframe point. Now move your playhead to the point that you want the animation or zoom to end. It's at this point you're going to tell Final Cut Pro what animation you want to create over the duration between your previous keyframe point and the point you're currently at. So to create a zoom in effect, simply go back up to the video inspector and increase the scale. Now it's time to test the animation. You can go to the beginning of your clip by hitting semicolon and then press play. You can now see that you've created the zoom in effect. You can also adjust the start and end points to your animation by showing the video animations. Either right click on your clip and hit show video animation or hit keyboard shortcut control V. Inside this new window, you can now move your keyframe points left or right to decrease or increase the speed of the zoom. By moving keyframe points closer together, you decrease the length. And by moving them further apart, you increase the length. To close your video animation, simply right click on your clip and hit hide video animation, or just hit control V. Now that you've learned how to apply a zoom, let's add a new clip to the timeline and go through my favorite application for a zoom. Here's the dolly zoom effect, or often referred to as the vertigo effect. This effect can be incredibly powerful for creating an intense dramatic effect, yet you've already learned how to do it in this video. The goal is to zoom in the opposite direction to the movement of the shot. As you can see, the shot on my timeline is moving backwards, which means we're going to want to zoom in. So go to the point where you want the zoom to start and add a keyframe point to the scale. Then move your playhead to where you want the zoom to end and go back up to the video inspector and increase the scale. The further zoomed in the end point is, the more dramatic the effect is going to appear. 
When you're done adding your keyframe points, go to the beginning of your clip by pressing semicolon and preview your animation. Since we've created the animation across the whole clip, this is a perfect example for where the Ken Burns effect would be extremely useful. And there you have it. You've just learned how to use the Ken Burns effect and use custom keyframes to zoom. You've also learned how to create the dolly zoom or vertigo effect all inside Final Cut Pro. So guys, that's it from me. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to zoom in Final Cut Pro helpful. And feel free to check out all the awesome Final Cut Pro zoom effects and transitions we have to offer at Motionary. Thanks so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.